local now. Concerns are mounting over staff cuts at the Clark County School District as it deals with a budget deficit. Thanks for joining us here at 5. I'm Denise Valdez. And I'm Brian Loftus. The district has yet to say how much it is in the hole for 8 News Now education reporter Joshua Piero has learned more about this situation. Joshua now joining us live. CCSD says it forgot to take into account teacher raises that were agreed upon last December into this current year's budget. Now each school has to correct this budget since there's less money and some teachers tell us they're really feeling the impact in the classroom. Having to come to work and not knowing if this is going to be your job for much longer is stressful. Mark Irvish Westcott is a teacher at Don and Dee Snyder Elementary School located in the far southwest valley near Durango and Pebble. He says his school is dealing with the fallout of CCSD's budget issue. Our support staff is also affected by this. Um, a lot of them have lost some of their extra hours that they were working before. Um, and so they've got to try and make ends meet with a loss in their income because they're not salaried employees, they're, they're hourly. On Friday, Interim Superintendent Brenda Larson Mitchell acknowledged there was a quote, central budget deficit. She says an 8% raise in teacher salaries wasn't included when the budget was approved earlier this year. Irvish Westcott says his principal has started to make adjustments. We're looking at having some teachers surplus. We're not able to afford in our budget the number of teachers we have on staff right now. There's one less teacher in that grade level, which means all of the classroom sizes go up. I caught up with State Superintendent Joan Ebert, who was at a Las Vegas elementary school for an event, and I asked her about CCSD's financial situation. We need to understand what has transpired, right? Understand what uh, the root causes are. We hear different things are going on. And so looking into where uh, the district is with the allocation of the funds. Do you have any faith that current leadership at the district will be able to solve this? Yeah. We said we were going to talk about pre-K, Joshua. Governor Lombardo announced last week he was going to investigate CCSD's financial issues. And to put things into context, lawmakers approved $12 billion into state schools during their last legislative session, with CCSD getting a huge chunk of that money. Reporting live at CCSD headquarters, Joshua Piguero, 8 News Now. Joshua pushing for answers there. The district's budget problems did cause the job of former CFO Jason Gowdy, who told us he was fired without cause. CCSD says it's working to identify and correct all budget issues, we are told, as quickly as possible.